Now this setup here is basically uh, a water meter reader. Uh, we're basically trying to get some calibration going to read this water meter here and display the value on the seven segment display. So the display is basically driven by an Arduino. So we've got a power supply here, which is a back converter. A step down so the Arduino is the one doing the controlling of computing the value coming out of the sensor so the sensor is basically a switch read so a switch read or read switch is basically uh, this cable uh, that is attached to a sensor is inserted inside the water meter it look exactly the way you see here so the read switch typically function by detecting obviously the movement of the water as it passes through the pipe and that is typically done because this uh, meter that you see here with the numbers it got a small paddle right almost like a rotating turbine that's got a magnet attached to it because the read switch is magnetic base so what happened then every time the water flow then the read switch will open and closes right now, the action of opening and closes will induce, obviously, uh, pulses on the outside as you connect it to your microcontroller. Now, the rate of the pulses that will be coming out will be uh, proportional to how the water is flowing. If the water is flowing fast, then you're going to have more pulses and the counting is going to be incremented as per the liter. So... Now, this is a basic water meter reader. Here you can see the red numbers are basically the hundreds of liters and the white one are the kilo uh, liters. Okay, so that basically in short how this water meter function. Now, it's important if you have this in your circuit, you have to ensure that you've got a pull up resistor. Otherwise, you're going to be getting a lot of noise that will be induced based on the magnetic coupling. Uh, internally with the read switch and the driver here most of it is basically uh, the ULN 2003 which is a seven segment driver can also drive a couple of devices because it's just amplify the current and a bunch of shift registers to basically uh, multiplex right your output so that's basically the setup here and we've got the Arduino code here that is actually doing the job so this is a 20 liter bottle that i'm about to uh, fill up and uh, by the time this 20 liter is done refilling uh, basically filling uh, i should be able to also register a 20 liters count on my seven segment display Okay, uh, I'm ready. You can start filling up the bottle. There we go. Ten liters. Nineteen. Twenty. Okay, still going. Twenty-seven. Okay. So we are basically 10 liters out in our calibration here. We have to uh, change some parameters in the code here to get the calibration going. Okay, ready. Let's go refill. Okay, so we are at 19. Okay, so basically our calibration is almost getting there. I just need to readjust the water volume variable. That way we can try to get as close as possible. Now, depending on the type of water meter you've got, uh, the type of reed switch that inserted in there, whether it's a magnetic reed switch or what have you, now, the data sheet of the water meter is supposed to tell you how many pulses you can get 
per revolution of the last uh, dice day or per liter, right? Now, it can tell you, no, you can get one pulse per liter or one pulse per half a liter, basically the volume of water flowing. Now, if you, if you have that kind of information, it will be easier for you to program your Arduino to basically read those pulses as they come in. But if you don't have that information, then you have to figure it out. And the way you can do it is basically by designing your own calibration curve. So you can set up the, the same way I'm doing now here. You get a 20 liters or 10 liters of water. You let it flow and in different speed. Then you can see how many pulses in total you're getting for the 20 liters. Then based on that, you can start having an idea at different speed, whether it changes or it stays the same. That way you can calibrate your water meter reader more accurately and you'll be on your way. Okay, I'm ready. You can refill again. Okay, just a second. Okay, so as you can see, we basically have refilled the 20 liters. Obviously, we got 21 counts. Um, so we cannot say exactly. So probably the bottle is a bit um, overfilled by a liter or a couple of milliliters. But we are getting close with the calibration. <laughs> 